So your methodology section, and again, this, um, how long or how short this is will depend upon your field and your discipline. So this is the portion of your thesis or dissertation, and it offers you the opportunity to say something about the field in which you work. So how do researchers in your field do their work? Some examples, is it data-driven, ethnographic, theoretical, investigative, historical, material, experimental, and so on. All of this is to say that scholars do scholarship in different ways. Um, even within the same field, scholars do scholarship in different ways. So using my own field as an example, as a literary scholar, there are some literary scholars who do book history and material history. So those are the ones who are really, really interested um, in the materiality of book production. So they go to those really old libraries and put on the gloves and handle very, very old documents. And they're interested in that kind of um, archival scholarship about book history. And then there are literary scholars who are very interested in the biographies of the authors. And so they read texts as ways of articulating something about authorship. And then there are some people who see literature as an example of an artistic expression that says something about the society in which we live. And so literature becomes a vehicle to discover uh, answers about larger sociological problems. Then there are other literary scholars who believe literature is an organic whole unto itself and must be studied in reference to its literary terms and its tropes and its metaphors unto itself. So that's just my field and those are four very different ways of doing um, research in that field. And so it's very important to not take anything for granted and assume that your reader, whether that reader is your supervisor or committee, or it's a readership of um, peer-reviewed scholars who are going to be reviewing your, your work and determining whether or not it should be published, um, or an external examiner of a dissertation, whoever your readership happens to be, you can't take for granted that they share the exact same knowledge that you have about how you do research in your field. So it differs very much from uh, discipline to discipline. And even within each discipline, there's a lot of um, variance that we'll find. So it's really important that in your dissertation, in your article, in your scholarly manuscript, you clearly state how you do research in your field. So. Um, some people are working in labs, some people are conducting interviews, some people are doing surveys, some people are reading theoretical texts, some people are exploring archaeological digs. Those are all very, very different and they have different rules guiding them. And so depending on your field, it will, uh, your methodology, your approach will be very, very different and it's important for you to articulate that clearly.